Hello, this is Paladin Prepper, and it's Saturday, October 22nd, and there's been a few developments in the last few days that I thought you should know about. First of all, we've had a couple of uh, frosts, or a couple of nights that are freezing temperature on the garden, on the Back to Eden garden, and so things, a few things are going to be ready to pull up. But there's something else, as you know, I've made it very clear that I wanted some mulch uh, for our, so this Back to Eden garden can get in shape. And a couple of days ago, I'll just tell you that uh, my good wife, Cass Cradle, flagged down a, a truck in our town, a fellow I'd been trying to get in contact with, and uh, he has a tree trimming service. And of course, uh, like any tree trimming service, he uh, mulches his, uh, the trims. And so, uh, I appreciate very much the fact that that uh, now in, in my front yard, I have, yes sir, <laughs> I have a nice big uh, pile of mulch here, delivered, have the guy just back it up and dump it right in my front yard, which is just fine with me. But of course, you know, if you have a big pile of mulch to put in your back to Eden garden, well, somehow you're going to have to be able to transfer that, and I don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to do that one shovel full at a time. So I came across something at a local Orchland store that I wanted to show to you. I went and bought this little cart. It's called a gorilla cart, and man, this thing is a thousand-pound uh, cart. And uh, what I love about this thing is uh, there are a couple of things. Uh, there's a little clamp right here. A release this release right here as you'll see I'll show you later on if you pull this release it releases this entire bed and the entire bed turns into a dump truck and also the way that's accomplished an interesting thing about that is the wheels one set of wheels moves the front set of wheels move moves backwards toward the rear set of wheels and they and you'll see how that works also, uh, there's a, this is no sales pitch, but I want you to know why I bought this particular cart. This handle that we have here can be taken off. You can pull the pins on it. You can pull the pins off this handle, and then you have just this, just this bracket piece, which fits on the back of an ATV or a, a lawn tractor. And so uh, that's a nice little feature. You'll be seeing how this is working a little bit later on. So um, we're going to stop now for a moment. I'm going to go back into the backyard and, uh, or in the garden, and uh, go ahead and pull up what needs to be pulled up, so we can get uh, as much coverage on this mulch as possible. Well, there's one more thing I wanted to uh, to show you before I start pulling up plants, and that is. I have a, uh, a leaf blower uh, that I use, and uh, but it's the kind of leaf blower that you can take the snot off of it and put a uh, and attach a, a bag to it and convert it from a leaf blower into a leaf vacuum. So I vacuumed up a bunch of leaves. We had uh, a lot of leaves come down recently uh, in, in the last uh, several days, and so I got several bags. And of course, as the uh, as the leaves are are uh, sucked up into that uh, cloth bag, well it shreds them. So I took several bags full of these shredded leaves and put them in that pyramid composter that you've seen in my videos and I wet those down and after several days I came in I was able to finish putting down all the papers and I realized I didn't necessarily have to put the papers down but I want to make sure there's nothing else growing in here and, and you don't have to put papers down on yours. Uh, I just want to make sure nothing was growing. And uh, so I was able to get the rest of the papers down in the, in the garden. And now that I have these leaves as compost down, along with the other compost, and of course this also mixed with this rabbit poop to uh, help in, enrich it even further. Um, but now all this compost is going to be covered with that great mulch. And uh, now one of the things you may have noticed in that mulch pile is it's not exactly perfect. Uh, but you know what? I'm certainly not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. The mulch, the big pile of mulch in my front yard was free. So, uh, no complaint there.
All right, now I've cleared out the uh, tomato plants from uh, from this row and uh, this row and anything else that was not adversely affected by the uh, by the freeze over the last couple of nights I just left it in place. There's no reason if it's possible to keep a garden going year round then you let things grow as long as they can naturally grow. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and proceed and uh, get the mulch in place. All right, now I'm going to uh, take my gorilla cart and uh, head off with my first, uh, this is a momentous moment, my first load of, uh, of uh, mulch into my Back to Eden garden. And uh, by the way, I might tell you all, uh, brothers and sisters, that uh, if you are not doing this yet, then get with it. Any uh, Anybody that uh, is paying attention to what's going on in the world around us can see, obviously, that there's financial uh, problems worldwide and there are also uh, been crop failures worldwide and if you want to have a garden that you don't have to worry about, you don't have to sweat over the next rain uh, that happens uh, or uh, you know, whether or not you have a drought or uh, any of those things. I'm having a prepper A help me here, guiding me, walking behind me here and making sure that I don't uh, take a spill. All right, we're going to get this thing set up and prepper A is going to shoot some video. So as I was saying, if you ha are not right now putting mulch down and creating a Back to Eden garden, and what are you waiting for? Get with it. This is important. Do you want to feed your family? Remember, so one of the other things I've mentioned before, the possibility of EMP, losing all power and all the other things. Not going to be able to go to the store. So be aware. Oh, be wise. What can I say more? All right, now one of the things I wanted to show you was about this cart. It's not an advertisement for the cart. I'm just uh, showing you again why I bought this particular cart. Is this handle here is a release. And see, if I pick up on this bucket here, nothing's happening, right? But if I grab this handle and give it a little pull, it releases this, this whole unit. And now watch the tires. As I dump this, as I dump it in place, the tires actually go together and dump. All right? And, and then they'll go back up when I put it back down. So I just wanted to show that to you. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and get out some of this. Uh, get that unloaded like so. And come out and spread it out later. And like I said, it's not perfect. There's a lot of things, pieces in here that are larger than you would normally have, but it doesn't matter. But like I said, the price is right and uh, it's not a problem. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pull this thing back down and give a pull, put it back down, and let it's spring-loaded, it goes right back in place. All right, I've arrived in the garden with uh, with a second load of mulch, and I wasn't going to shoot any more until we were about half done with this thing, but I just noticed something else that you might like to know about, about this cart. Uh, instead of a static four-wheel cart, one of the things uh, that this cart will do is that when you turn the handle to make a turn, the wheels individually turn. They don't stay straight. They follow the, uh, the handle. And so uh, that's a handy little thing. I just thought I would uh, mention that to you. Don't know if you're planning on uh, considering getting one of these or not. I have no affiliation with the company, but just thought I would mention it. Well, here we are uh, progressing here. I just wanted to show you kind of a before and after thing. Uh, here's the one row I haven't done yet. And now we'll move over here. You can see where the, the mulch is down. And we just couldn't be happier. I tell you what, uh, this is coming right along. And as I continue to use that uh, gorilla cart, that thing's working well. And uh, just wanted to give you a little update.
Well, here's someone that's enjoying the uh, back to Eden Garden, the mulch that uh, we've just spread. And I wanted to shoot this before we uh, lose uh, daylight. I, uh, I might make a suggestion about using that cart after you've uh, after you've hauled uh, 20 or 30 loads in it. Be sure and check the uh, tightness of the screws, of the, the nuts and the bolts. I had one come out and had to stop long enough to uh, to replace it. But uh, this is at least this section. I have a back to Eden. I can now say I have a back to Eden garden. If my mulch is in place, if I can get to a spot here where I can stand still. And now all that compost and paper is uh, is covered with the mulch. And by the way, all this, uh, the mulch, you know, it has some large pieces in it and some tiny limbs and so forth. But, you know, I'm going to enjoy using uh, the rake to, uh, to gently work that and get that out. Now, I'll tell you, I figured out, you know, you know, there we have, you know what a shovel is, and you know what a potato hoe or potato rake is, and all that. Well, this is a, a Paul Gachi rake. <laughs> Still got stuff in it. Uh, and uh, hats off to you, sir. And for all of you uh, brothers and sisters who have not yet uh, done this, get your mulch. Now we've been uh, we've made quite a few loads. Prepper A and I have been working all day on this and making these loads. And we left in, as I said, the things that didn't seem to be affected by the by the cold. And I just want to go ahead and, and finish this while we still have good good light, and we have more to do. But uh, you keep after it. And if you have not yet watched, if you don't know what I'm talking about, and if you have not watched the Back to Eden movie, then you need to watch the Back to Eden movie. By the way, one more thing before this train comes. While out here in the middle of uh, doing all this work, a lot of aircraft flew over, doing their crisscross, doing their chemtrails, and something occurred to me that this covering here will protect your soil from the chemtrails. If you don't know what a chemtrail is, then now is the time for you to uh, go to my channel, my Paladin Prepper channel, and matter of fact, I may put the link below just so you can click on it and watch about chemtrails so that you understand the significance of you. It's one more reason to get this done. So, work at it. You know, people are willing to work hard to get things done so they can enjoy something from a long period of time and other people aren't. Okay, I'm tired. Paladin Prepper.